Welcome everyone. It is the first Monday of the month of July 2016. Happy Independence Day to all the Americans out there. Um, tonight we will of course channel Chamuel and um, see what comes through. So uh, if you hear all the popping in the background that's just the fireworks and the dogs might go a little crazy during this so please forgive me for the interference. <laughs> we'll jump right into it now. My dearest children, why do you worry yourselves so much? Running to and fro, wondering why and how and when and why me? When always you are on the path, you are heading towards the goal, towards happiness, towards the release of suffering to the pleasurable experience of transcendental enlightenment. Essentially you are all bits of oneness, pieces of peace, true beauty and joy. And as you've dropped down into this world we call earth or into human existence, You have taken on many forms and a complex array of thoughts and feelings and situations and circumstances, carrying with you the tainted elements of your fall into the present moment. This would be what they may call karma or just baggage. And so as you've gone through all of these complexities, you start to forget that essentially you are this clear, pure, all space fulfilling entity. Your lives are merely a precious time. Filled with calamity and anxiety, depression, catastrophic events, which we mistake for mistakes. For some unfulfilling aspect that keeps us from joy. But essentially, my dear children, these are but opportunities to learn and grow. In essence, it's showing you exactly these bags that you have in front of you, that you carry with you, and you're a drop of oneness. So that eventually you can take each bag, analyze, unload, or just throw it out. And as you release this baggage that you've carried with you, and you start to see that the complexities of life are not so complex, in fact, they're very simple, then you start to see this clarity, this purity, this joy that has come with you into your drop of oneness, into this existence, in human form on this earth and in this moment. And often you'll hear that these things are not real, everything is a dream, a figment of your imagination, but trust me, dearest ones, dearest children, they are absolutely real. This phenomena really exists. But the filters that you see the world with, what you see this phenomena with, that is the illusion. 
So if you can clear away the conception that these things are mistakes, that these are impediments to the progression towards joy, then you will see the clarity of it all. You will start to see that all human existence, all experience, is a pathway directly to the clear light consciousness, pure bliss. And you'll find that when you're absorbed in this bliss, everything is perfect. All phenomena is perfect. Everything is joy. Because everything is right. Everything is exactly as it should be. So my dearest ones, my little children of earth, my beloveds, as you start to go through the struggle and feel confused or taken aback by any of your human experiences, please just hold on to that experience, move deeply into it and realize this is here for you. This is your opportunity. Use this as a step to move up in consciousness, to raise your spiritual vibration. Remember that to raise that vibration, there is necessarily going to be a little bit of resistance, a little bit of traction as you're moving up. But with that influence, that supportive influence of the thought form, acknowledging that this is a helpful experience, your consciousness will change and everything starts to harmonize again. And you dwell in that harmony and you notice the bliss of being in harmony. And then the time comes again for you to lift up little bit higher and a little bit higher and a little bit higher until all of the phenomena and all of the experiences absorbed not so much trends muted not so much transcended but the consciousness is so clear that everything is joy. And I realize that this is a hard concept, especially when we have no experience to back it up, because each level is a new level. Each level is a new experience, a new understanding. But think back. Think back to that hard time when you thought nothing would be able to see you through. Not your own spirit, not your family or your friends or the books or the divine intervention even. But eventually something clicked, something lifted something became harmonious and you level out. And from that experience, things change, the perspective changed. What was that? One could call it a miracle. Or one can just see that as the natural progression of a spiritual being on a spiritual path towards spiritual enlightenment.
the gift that I give to you is a spiritual gift. It's giving you the vibration of spiritual encouragement to keep going, to keep progressing, to keep working through all of this strife. And not from the head, not from the sense perceptions, but from the divine intelligence that is within your own heart. And being able to sense love as it's given and exude love as the spiritual body opens. And from this divine pulse from the heart, all things become harmonious. And you need not worry. And you need not run to and fro and wonder why, when, how. And instead, you think, thank God. Thank me, for I am blessed with a life, a precious human life. We here in the angelic realms, we see all of you as precious. In spite of the way that you see yourselves, You're so proud of your courage to live each day, to take each breath, searching for the release of suffering in the best way that you know how, in each moment. It's beautiful. And our hope, our only hope, is that you can release clouded thoughts, the baggage that you hold, so that you can see and understand and transmit how beautiful your life truly is. We love you. From now until eternity. Namaste, dearest ones. <laughs>